The majority of horse owners must eventually learn how to give their horse an injection. Fortunately, this is an easy skill to learn. An intramuscular, or IM, injection is given deep in large muscle masses where the drug can be slowly absorbed into the body. IM injections are the easiest injections to give and most horses quietly accept the shot. Before giving your horse any injection, contact your veterinarian for any precautions of the specific drug that you will be using. Also ask about proper dosing of the drug as well as the correct route in the vein, muscle, or under the skin. Before giving any injection to your horse, read the label. It is a good rule of thumb to read the label of any drug before pulling up the dose and again before injecting it. Check the drug name to make sure it is the same as what your veterinarian recommends. And remember that label names can differ from the actual drug name. Check the recommended dose of the drug as well as the route and ask your veterinarian if you have any questions. Make sure that when giving an injection that you use a sterile syringe and needle. Individually wrapped disposable sterile needles and syringes are the easiest way to ensure sterile equipment. Never reuse a needle or use the same needle for more than one horse. The size of the needle is dependent on the type of medicine being injected. A thick substance, such as penicillin, requires an 18 gauge needle, whereas a thinner substance, such as vaccines, can be given with a 20 gauge needle. Intramuscular injections are typically given with one and a half inch needles so that the medicine is injected deep within the muscle. If you are unsure how your horse may react to the injection, it is best to untie the horse and hold its lead rope or have a helper hold the rope for you. A tied horse that overreacts to an injection may pull back on the rope, potentially injuring itself. The base of the horse's neck is the ideal injection site because it allows the handler to remain in a safer area by the horse's shoulders. To locate the appropriate injection area, put the heel of your hand on the base of the horse's neck where it joins the shoulder, about midway between the crest and the bottom of the neck. The area covered by your palm is the injection site. Below the point of the horse's buttocks is another large muscle match which is a good injection site. The drawback of this site is it puts the handler within kicking range and should only be used by experienced handlers. To find this injection site, locate the bony protrusion that makes up the point of the buttock and drop approximately one inch and inject anywhere into the muscle mass. Be sure to inject into the actual muscle and not the crevice between two adjoining muscle masses. The pectoral muscle is also an option for injection, but puts the handler at risk of being kicked, bit, or run over by the horse. The pectoral muscles become sore easily and should be used as a last resort for an injection site. The injection site is the bunchy muscles in the lower half of the chest between the forelegs. To give an intramuscular injection to a horse, insert the needle perpendicular into the skin and sink the needle deep into the muscle all the way to the hub. Be sure to insert the needle quickly and decisively. It is easier for the handler and less painful for the horse. There are a few techniques to distract a horse while inserting the needle. The first technique is to pinch up the horse's skin next to the injection site for a few seconds prior to inserting the needle. While holding the pinched skin, insert the needle into the muscle. Another method is to hold the needle between the thumb and forefinger. Tap the horse vigorously two to three times with the side of your palm in the injection site, and without breaking your rhythm, rotate your hand and insert the needle. After the syringe is attached to the needle, be sure to pull back on the plunger to make sure that the needle is not in a vein. If blood pools in the hub or flows into the syringe, the needle must be pulled out and reinserted. Slowly insert the medicine into the horse. If a large dose, more than 15 to 20 cc's, is needed, it is best to use more than one injection site. Observe the horse for any adverse drug reaction over the next 30 minutes to one hour. Congratulations! You have now successfully given an intramuscular injection to your horse.